This week, AT&T and Verizon agreed to a request from U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg for a voluntary two-week delay of their 5G rollouts on C-band frequencies. The C-band is often called the Goldilocks frequency, a sweet spot that delivers both lightning-fast speed and relatively wide coverage. The two telecom giants have collectively spent $67 billion on C-band licenses and had planned to launch new 5G service on Wednesday in many U.S. cities. The impending national rollout of 5G on the C-band has turned into a turf war between two powerful government agencies. Both the FCC, which governs the electromagnetic spectrum, and the FAA, which governs aviation safety, say 5G and safe air travel can coexist, but are at odds on exactly how. The aviation industry has pointed out for several years that aircraft radio altimeters operate on C-band frequencies. Altimeters measure the distance between a plane and the ground. They're crucial for landing aircraft in low visibility conditions like heavy fog, snow, and rain. On December 30th, Airlines for America, a trade group representing the airline industry, filed an emergency petition asking regulators to temporarily block AT&T and Verizon's deployment on the spectrum. The petition cited an airworthiness directive issued earlier this month by the FAA, which deemed it unsafe to rely on cockpit safety systems in the presence of 5G transmitters in the C-band. A report by the nonprofit Radio Technical Commission for Aeronauticism, which was used in the airworthiness directive by the FAA, says, quote, The results of the study performed clearly indicate that this risk is widespread and has the potential for broad impacts to aviation operations in the United States, including the possibility of catastrophic failures leading to multiple fatalities in the absence of appropriate mitigations. But the telecoms industry doesn't buy it. Earlier this year, in an op-ed for Morning Consult, Meredith Atwell Baker, the president of the trade group representing the wireless companies, called 5G and airline safety the FAA's false choice. Baker notes that no fatalities involving planes in 5G have occurred in any of the almost 40 countries currently utilizing the C-band for 5G purposes. But the FAA counters that other countries have implemented mitigations such as lower power levels around airports. Canada, for example, has restricted C-band use near airports. The decision by AT&T and Verizon to agree to a delay kicks the can down the road for another two weeks to January 19th. But 5G could be one more issue airlines and air travelers will have to deal with in 2022.